Hey there guys, what's going on? I'm Dinafarius1, welcome to my new European Universalist 4 Let's Play series where I will play as the Oirat Horde on Iron Man mode. Um, I wonder how well we are going to do. My goals are to westernize by beelining to Russia, take Persia and India, so I'm quite ambitious and I might also want to colonize if there's still an opportunity to do that after I westernized. And yeah, lots of blood will flow while we try to accomplish this. Some of it is going to be our own, but that is fine with us. Though our starting manpower reserves are not amazing, especially compared to some of our neighbors. I'm looking at you, Ming. But I think that's gonna be enough to pull off what we want. And let's start off by actually breaking vassalage with Mongolia. I never like them as a vessel, they never really do anything for me and they might try to break away at the worst possible moment. As you can see, they have extra 50% liberty because of the historical rivals penalty and there's no way to get rid of that, so... Bye-bye. You want to do this, by the way, before you choose your syncretic phase because that removes your prestige and you need positive prestige to break vassalage. Now we are going to choose Sunni as our syncretic phase, because we already have Sunni territory and that is where we are going to conquer. This is almost always what you want to do, because Sunni is very difficult to convert at the beginning of the game, because of the minus 2 conversion penalty. So let's just go ahead and do that. This will also help us make uh, some nice alliances here, maybe even with the Timurids at some point. Yeah, let's decide what else we want to do with our free diplomats. I want to ally someone who hates the Isbeks. Because they are our first main opponent. We will definitely go to war with them in the first 10 years. They rival us and the Timurids. That's never smart. I think the Timurids for a short while are, are quite the superpower. Cousin Who do they rival? Okay, I think I'm going to align Nogai because the Golden Horde already rivals Kazan and I think Kazan will um, get the short stick here. They are going to disappear. Nogai borders the Timurids, which might not be too nice, but the the Uzbeks are um, more of a target for the Timurids early on, especially since they are rivaling them at the moment, so let's try and get in the good graces of Nogai. And we are also going to get in the good graces of Ming, because yeah, I, I want to be very nice to Ming. I, actually, through the whole game I'm not going to really invade here. It's a different religion, different culture group from mine. It would take a lot of effort to really consolidate my power here. I'm looking more at Persia and India, that's going to be enough, I think. I'm not going to go for any achievements, particularly. I'm not uh, trying for Great Khan achievement or anything like that. I just want uh, an Iron Man Let's Play where we try to westernize, and not, not even for, um, you know, the reasons you westernized for before, like it used to give you western unit types, and it uh, no longer does that, so it's not like you westernize and you are king of Asia. It's not like that anymore. I'm, I just want to westernize, um, because I think it would be cool to have a western power here in the region. Maybe make some of our neighbors western, because of their proximity to, to us. And yeah, I also want to colonize a bit. You know, it would be cool to have a colonizing western power in this region. Because obviously that's not how it went down historically. What else do we want? Yeah, let's choose a mission. Mm, convert, okay. Improve relations with Karadel. They are a target of mine, so I don't want to do that right now. We are going to take the Protect Our Brethren in Urumqi first, because we will wage war with Chagatai as soon as we can, so this is the one I can complete the fastest. We are also going to try and improve our stability by one, because that allows you to enact some good reforms. Namely, 
bridges sacrifices that reduce reduces um, stability cost in the future and encourage divination. The two of these together are pretty nice to have. So we wanted to, to get one stability as soon as we can. Let's look at our advisors. Do we have any anyone worthwhile? Not really, and I don't want to spend the money if I don't like the bonus at the beginning of the game. I might look at the military one. No, nothing spectacular here either, so let's leave it at that. Okay, let's choose our rivals. I'm definitely rivaling Chagatai, because we will go to war with them soon. I'm gonna rival back the Uzbeks, maybe it will help us make some alliances, and in case we enter a defensive war, once they declare, or if they declare, then it will give us extra power projection. And I'm not gonna rival Mongolia or anyone here, because I'm not sure which country will come out on top in this arena of sorts. There are lots of nations here, and really anyone can be the winner. Korchin or Yaran, maybe Korea will take some of this, so I will wait with that. Uh, I will use um, the third diplomat outside of war to befriend the Timurids. Okay, what else can we do on the first turn? Let's look at our estates a little bit. Our force limit is minus 3, so we can have 3 new units. And I'm actually going to raise host now. This actually gives you 5, five free units, or at least in terms of um, manpower and regiment cost. Obviously they need um, regular upkeep. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. It doesn't improve their influence that much and we yeah we don't have enough cavalry in our army. You can carry a hundred percent as horde and we want to get as close to that as we can. Let's start at the clock. Okay, so they humiliated us, they sent an insult. These backs. They embargoed okay and Korchin announced us as rivals, so I'm going to rival him back actually. No, he made it clear. I might even enter a war in this region to sack some provinces. I'm unlikely to take territory though. I want to expand in this direction. I don't want to really blob too much. Okay, that usually happens. Sarig Yogir and Karada usually enter an alliance. Yaran with Mongolia. Oh, yeah, that's bad because Mongolia will rival us and um, we are not in their good graces. No, they allied Yaran and Korchin actually rivaled me, so that really only leaves Buryatia, Haixi, or Jianzu for me to realistically ally in the future. Korea is a um, different religion, so that's a penalty for forming an alliance. Okay, the Uzbeks form the Caliphate. Yeah, Golden Horde allied these back, that's not good for us. Let's hope he declares war and not the other way around, so maybe we can wage a war with the Golden Horde involved. Though, a little bit into the future, the Golden Horde won't matter that much, they will get eaten up by Muscovy, Lithuania, or someone in the region. Okay, so they. Buryatia might be a valid ally in the future. They actually rival Kochin as well. So, yeah, maybe we want to guarantee them to, yeah, maybe force some of these countries not to declare war on them, to deter them a little bit. Okay, Chugata is a caliphate. Okay, the rest of, his, rest of it is not that important. Yeah, obviously we start out with a great leader, with uh, Asan Koros. You really want to play aggressive in the first phase of the game until he's around 5 shock, he's amazing. And our second leader is kinda shit. To be honest, he has no shock. Basically all you are looking for is shock. Maneuver helps, because um, these regions are low supply limit. Siege is incon inconsequential in the first part of the game, because there's really only the capital that has the fort in the surrounding countries. So, yeah, we will most likely fire this guy. No, we will do it now. 
actually, because I don't want to spend the one military power to upkeep him. We are not at a high power projection yet. And let's start the clock. I'm gonna keep the third diplomat around to declare war and then make peace with Chukatai. I want to completely conquer this. Let's put the speed up a little bit. Okay, so these bags are really picking a fight with the Timurids here. Okay, insult me all you want. You will pay for that. Nobody insults the great gun. Okay, let's declare war. I'm gonna go with um, Tribal Feud, because it gives the bonuses for all the provinces and not just Wurmki, which I have a claim on now. Yeah, Desert, we get the Shock bonus, because it's flat terrain. No crossing, no nothing. And he has zero shock. This is yeah, this is a stack pipe most likely. If I arrive, yeah, I arrive before the end of the month, so he won't even have full morale. Look at those numbers, man. Look at those numbers. Yes, stack pipes. Let's leave a siege unit here. Let's split up. Actually, let's leave. One more guy here, in case the attrition lowers the numbers, I want to be able to keep on sieging. I'm gonna move these guys. Yeah, I can put up this tree again. I'm gonna play quite slow in the beginning, because we will constantly wage wars, so... There's really no point in, in uh, putting it up higher, but obviously later on we will do that. It would be nice to play some traditional steps music, maybe some Mongolian music, but I'm not well versed enough in uh, copyright law to do that just yet. I will look into it later on. They want to rent. I don't need your I don't need your help. I'm doing just fine as you can see. No troops left. Okay, I think we are over limit now. Yes. So let's consolidate and kill this guy off. Well not kill him, I mean he goes back to Farming or animal husbandry? I don't know. What the common folk of the Oira do? Okay, now we are two over limits. Yeah, I'm gonna pay the money for that for now. He has a new leader. Fancy. Too little, too late though. Steps. He won't have. Yeah, he will have one more tick of morale. No cavalry. I should be able to survive that. But hmm, interesting. Okay, that that won't be a stack pipe. We we lose some unnecessary manpower there. Unless we roll well. We did. Okay. We still lost a thousand men. Could have done better, but honestly, with the new troops coming, I can afford to take some losses. Like I, I can kill this Eastern Archer off. Yeah, let's move everybody to Cobdo. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. I'm going to put administrative focus because that's the most important monarch power for us. We want to expand a lot. We will have to take an administrative idea first, so that's a given. Yes, let's get rid of you as well. Okay, 
and I'm on it. Perfect. It's changed. Jump work. Okay. It's quite, quite far away from him. What does he want to do in India? Is he alive as well? No, just the golden horn. Okay, Mongo was already running into trouble. Good. Excellent. Mink has an administra administrator as a leader. Mink has an administrator for his first emperor. It's nice. You, you sometimes get a militaristic one in the beginning and you know he might send warnings out he might even invade this area but this is a nice start things are going according to plan chiefs are withholding taxes one of our closest advisors has come to us with proof of the local chiefs not paying much tax to us as one should expect from their lands. This is a delicate situation, but we need to come to a decision quickly. Their land, their rules. We lose prestige, they gain loyalty, or we lose loyalty and gain money. Mm, you, you use the loyalty for contribute warriors, which we will want to do at some point. Yeah, I don't mind the prestige that much. We will get out of the negatives soon enough. Yeah, still on limit. Mm, we have so much to do with our diplomats, we would want to fabricate some clans in Yarkhan, so the core and cost is reduced. We want to befriend the Timurids. We want to proclaim on Buryatia and get an ally in this region now that everybody hates us. Yeah, we will really have to prioritize here. I guess Nogai first, because the Uzbeks are the biggest question mark. I might want to convert these, but I'm not sure without the proper advisor. I can take the religious unity for now. He has Medium war enthusiasm? Okay. If you say so. They are nothing if not enthusiastic. Already at war. Okay, maybe this is why they supplied Jompur. Started a war in India. Doesn't say the cause of the war. Multan, Jompur, Pagakan, and Nagaur. Used to be, say the declaration. Tumrit Kokonst of Multan. Okay. It's nice that he's focused on India. Sooner or later he will implode, and that's when we want to pick our fight with him. Until then, you know, we are allies. So to speak. What is he doing here? Okay. They are acting weird. They are up to something, I know. Enforce our heritage. Okay, siege is over. Let's make the peace deal. We will ask for everything. And money too. Okay. Splendid. And now we are going to burn everything, I guess, before coring. I like uh, Karamagdan and Almaty, because eventually I want to move 
my center trade to the Samarkand region. Right now we are collecting a human. But that can wait, I mean, autonomy has more of um, an effect on these guys' trade power than, than their development. And I really want to save as much administrative power as I can. And this is the Horde way, really. You confer, you raise, you pillage, you sack, you loot. Okay, let's core them. And once the overextension ends, I will boost my stability to take those decisions that I talked about. Quack click to Tangri, they are Vajrayana as well. Okay. Improve relations with Saragivia, what do I get for that? Reputation. Reputation might help us because we won't have the, the best reputation in this game. Sangya, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not going to war with Ming. Ming is a lot stronger, by the way, with the expansion DLCs. They really improved their stability. They used to implode like every 40 years or so. It was very easy to conquer them with any ordination. Okay, I'm gonna convert and then I can convert the rest. It would be nice to have a missionary strength guy for this. But I'm already, you know, Okay, and that was the timer, so I'm gonna put a cut here, it's a nice end with the Chagatai War finishing. I'm gonna start... Convert... Yeah, I'm gonna wait for coring and then convert car click in the next episode. Thanks for joining me, thanks for watching, stay tuned and take care.